everyone and welcome back to my car. So in today's vlog, we are doing a little Christmas decor scouting. Not shopping, scouting. I need to scout it out. I need to see what the offerings on the market are currently. Also at the end of the video, Chef Steph will be tackling mac and cheese. So this is gonna be a good one. Also, everyone's asking me if I'm doing Vlogmas. I'm not doing Vlogmas, I'm not committing to that, but there will be holiday vlogs just like I did last year. If you want to know my reasoning as to why I do not do Vlogmas anymore, check out my first holiday vlog of last year. I think it's called like the year without a Vlogmas or something. That goes more in depth because I don't know, it's the same reasoning. So I'm personally not ready to decorate for Christmas yet. I never decorate before Thanksgiving. I probably never will. My mom never did. We always decorated after Thanksgiving and that's just kind of something that's just my vibe, I guess. And since our winter here, it already started, like we are in full winter here for some reason already, like since the beginning of November. Um, our winter lasts like six months. So I don't know, when I start decorating for Christmas, then it's like, oh my God, it's winter. And I leave my decor up till like almost March <laughs> because January and February in upstate New York are so miserable and gloomy that I just, I just need that decor in my house because it just brings me cheer. If you decorate before Thanksgiving, more power to you. I have no problems with that. But I just like to eat my turkey with brown decor. I don't know, just personal preference. It's just what I grew up on, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna do some scouting. I'm not ready to purchase anything yet because when I just start going in, boom, buying things, then I end up buying so many similar things and it's just like, why did you buy all of this? The stores that I like to shop at are Home Goods, Target, Michaels. Those are my favorites because they're not too big. Hobby Lobby, I don't really shop at anymore. And at home, we got one of those stores here. They're so big and overwhelming, I can't take it. There's like just so much stuff that my mind is just like, like I can't. Like it's just so much. Like I feel like I black out in the store and I want so many things that I end up buying none of them, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna be scouting a few things out. I also have some returns to do. So we will see what I end up with and then we will make some mac and cheese. So I think it's gonna be a good day. If you will notice, I do not get a cart. That is the first mistake. I'm not sure the vibe I'm going for this year. I have a regular tree and a flocked tree, so I haven't decided which one I want. Oh, I like this wreath though. See, this is dangerous. I really like this wreath. It's like flocked with some eucalyptus and these little balls. I don't know, I'd probably remove the balls. I would neuter this wreath. I definitely want to keep it pretty simple like last year though. I don't know, I'm just not over like the cluttered vibe. This is not Christmas related, but this would be a really good um, makeup brush holder. I kind of like that. I actually don't need one though. It's on clearance though for $15. I have like this little spinning one. It's like wooden, I actually do really like it. So I am going to refrain. This is a cute little vibe though. There's me looking very pale and sickly. That kind of looks like Rosie. She would never put headphones on though, that's for sure. Blankies. I really like kind of like green decor. Pillows are definitely my favorite. <gasps> I literally, Rose literally has that hat. She's not as hefty, but she definitely has this hat. <laughs> I really like these mini trees, but not for 129. Sorry. I feel like Home Goods definitely has the best ribbons. I don't know if I want to do ribbon this year. This is super cute though. Just kind of like rustic. Definitely just built hot coffee all over my life but not on the cushion so that is good now what do i do what do i do you guys look how sweet this is it's like a thousand dollars and i definitely don't need it but how cool is this like little wardrobe oh my god i'm just knocking over everything very cool 
Reminds me of like kind of like Beauty and the Beast. I need to check out with this. This was not part of the plan, but I forgot that Dave threw up all over his bed and I it was not savable. So I do want to check out these candles though. No, I don't need more candles. I have so many already. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this wreath because it's home goods and we just don't know if it will be here when we come back. There's only two. I'm about to drop everything. It's slipping out from underneath my armpit. Everyone is watching me. God, why is there so many breakable items? All right, now to Target. Oh wow, the phone is ringing. Hello? Okay. <laughs> um, the Target uh, dollar spot or whatever you call it is Hi. pretty Sorry. limited. Hi. I just want to say hello. I watched Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking hilarious. Thank you. You're hilarious. I watched it. I literally died. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm filming right now. Say hi. <laughs> oh my god, how funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. I was just over here sharing that this spot is pretty picked over. So I'll have to come back. But I wanted to return something, but the line is a little long. This looks awful. And now I'm stuck. What's happening? I don't... Do you guys see what's happening? <laughs> this is me in a public setting. Just trapped. This is the thing I'm returning, by the way. I have the Revlon thing. I don't really use it because I don't like blow drying my hair. But this thing, it spins. And oh my god, it was literally my worst nightmare. I thought I was never going to be able to get it out of my hair. Slay my name. Oh my god. Destiny's Child. What the hell? Oh my god, these are all so good. So cute. Also picking up both of these creams because my skin is freaking the frig out. Now to my favorite section. I just love Joanna's whole vibe. I think I wanted to buy this last year and I didn't. Should I buy it? These are super cute. So are these signs. The Scarlet is actually kind of similar to that wreath that I just bought. I really like this wreath too. I just, I don't know. I don't know what the vibe I'm going for this year. But these are candles. They're actually super cute. There's honestly not that much stuff out yet. These are actually really cute. It's like, um, kind of like a little village, but they're gold. These candles I actually really like. Like, I love how big and chunky, and it has like this little yarn around it. Actually, it smells really good too. They also have it in red, but like I said, I kind of prefer the green. 10% off. Give me like a real discount. 10% is like, okay, covering the tax, that's it. If I liked hot cocoa, I would totally get that sign. This is super cute, should I get it? I wish it wasn't so lime green. Like it looks way better on camera. <laughs> Cause it's pretty bright. I bought a bunch of these little white houses last year. Maybe I'll get more. I really like these. They're like really wispy. These I love, but I could definitely get them in my backyard. You know I love a good sign. Probably don't need any more. YouTube, please don't copyright this song in the background. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. I really like this wreath also, but I just bought one that looks basically the same. I think this one lights up though. Ooh, maybe I'll get this one for outside. But I'll come back. I can always order you online. Surprisingly, not that much stuff is catching my eye just because I feel like it's all so similar every year. Thank God. I actually really love these little deer fur stockings might have to get a few oh my god now we have how many people we have there's five of us i 
can't have five stockings. My mantle isn't large enough. Everyone here definitely thinks I'm crazy. I should probably go. I am crazy. This is amazing if you want to be politically correct and non-offensive. Let's get a basket. I really thought I was just scouting, but you know. Wouldn't be me if I wasn't getting all of this nonsense. It's always blankets and pillows. Always. They have these runners. I kind of like this plaid. I can never find ones that are like the extended length because my table is pretty long. I feel like they never sell the long ones. I really like that, but I don't think it's going to be long enough. I love these little stemless wine glasses. I just want everything. I didn't think I wanted anything, but now I want everything. Damn it all. I didn't do too bad. I only bought six things. This is unnecessary, but it just looked inspirational. So my battery is about to die, so I don't think I'm gonna try to go to Michael's today, but I just realized, I don't know, you guys probably already realized that these are not freckles. This is the coffee that I spilled in Home Goods. It got on my face. <laughs> They got on my face and now it looks like freckles. So, um, I don't know. If you're trying to get that faux freckle vibe, maybe just splatter some coffee on your face. Just a suggestion. It's not irritating at all. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm walking around a public setting with coffee freckles. All right, let's see how much footage we can get in. This is a big boy. He is a big boy. Let's see. Is my name on the list? not on the list. I was not on the list. I actually have quite a bit of this stuff already. These are so cute. I guess I'm really into the eucalyptus vibe this year. Those are really cute. 50% off. Because the original price is insane. Awkward. Oh my god, Dave. He needs this. I need to get this for him. It's not on sale though, I don't think. I will be coming back for this. They also do not have anything but a medium and we're gonna need a large for David. Okay, you guys, so I have a relatively big confession to make as a chef, <laughs> Steph chef, not an actual chef. I have never made homemade macaroni and cheese. So for some reason, I've been like binge watching mac and cheese tutorials on YouTube. I have no idea why. I just, I don't know, ever since I had that mac and cheese in Nashville, like I just have been wanting to make it because I never have. And personally, I love a good boxed macaroni and cheese. Like I love Kraft. I love Velveeta. So I've never like really felt the need to try to make it homemade. So today I decided, you know what? I am going to try to make it. So earlier I went to the grocery store to get the ingredients and I didn't have like a specific recipe that I wanted to follow. I saw like a few different ones. So I think I'm just gonna kind of combine them to make my own. So this is what I ended up getting at the grocery store, okay? I did not own a cheese grater. I think I used to own one and then it became rusted. So I remembered, I'm proud of myself for remembering that I needed to <laughs> purchase a cheese grater because I don't really know how else you shred cheese without a cheese grater. So all of this right here, um, minus a package of Tums, came to $50. Is that normal for the price of making mac and cheese. That doesn't seem correct to me. I mean, we got butter, cheese. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I probably should have Googled this before I started this whole idea, but my mind doesn't work that way, I guess. I don't know how many ounces of cheese equals shredded cups of cheese, so I'm gonna have to Google that. So I was like, okay, I need like f f three or four cups of cheddar cheese, so I'm gonna buy this giant brick, like literally a brick. And then, I mean, you have to have multiple cheeses, so I got this one. I'm not sure how to pronounce Gruyere. Gruyere. I'm gonna have to Google that. Also, American cheese, I don't know, butter, more butter? Oh, I have two types of butter here. This I think I bought, and I don't think I was supposed to get salted, so luckily I have some unsalted over here. But yeah, the total of this came to $50, and I don't feel like that is right. Maybe I just suck at grocery shopping, or maybe 
this is gonna feed 40 people i'm not sure but we're about to find out so i got my cheese grater which has i didn't even see this it has this handy dandy little compartment that has a measuring cup so i don't even have to think about it but i did google it and google says that eight ounces of cheese equals two cups of shredded cheese 32 ounces would equal 16 cups i don't know oh can you calculate something for me no okay okay so i'm gonna need like a quarter of this so i definitely overestimated the amount of cheddar so let's just cut the cheese wink wink this is the biggest block of cheese ever this is probably why i don't make mac and cheese because this does not seem like it's going to be fun is there a better way to do it okay how many we got oh wow that filled up so quickly do you guys see that that was quick I feel like it's probably better to have too much than too little. Otherwise, you have blood in the cheese from your knuckles. Okay. Okay. We're taking this fancy French cheese. I think it's like kind of like Swiss for that like melty effect. David, stop licking my leg. I don't know if he can be seen. There he is. I probably should make sure that I actually like this type of cheese before I put it in my mac and cheese. That's good. It's not as like funky as Swiss cheese. Then the last cheese is rather controversial because it's American cheese, which is like a cheese product along with like Velveeta. A lot of people put a Velveeta cheese in their sauce just to make it like really creamy and like give it that different kind of texture, that fake texture, I guess. So I'm gonna do a little bit of American cheese as well because a lot of recipes that I saw for creamy mac and cheese, I don't like the mac and cheese that like you cut into it and it's like meatloaf, you know what I mean? It's just like a square like with eggs in it. I'm not, I don't know. It's not that I don't like it, but that's not what I am craving. So a lot of the recipes that I saw for creamy mac and cheese have American in them. So I just took like 10 slices and I'm just kind of like tearing it up because the knife is not gonna work out with this. I can already just tell. So here I have all my cheeses. I am about to boil the water for the macaroni. And then I have my milk and cream sitting out on the counter so it's not um, too cold because cold milk in a hot pan is usually not good. So I just like to leave it out while I'm doing all of this other stuff. So for my noodles, I'm gonna take this cavatappi. I just like the shape of it. It's just like fun and uh, curly corkscrew kind of. And obviously you want to make sure you salt your water generously. Then in a greased pan, I'm just gonna add, ooh, the macaroni. <laughs> it's getting a little steamy in here. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit of butter in here so that the noodles don't stick together while I am making the sauce. You could use oil or something too, but I'm using just a little bit of butter because obviously everything is better with butter. Next for the good part, the sauce, I'm just gonna take the same pot that I used to boil the pasta and I'm going to melt a stick of butter wherever I put that. And once that is melted, I'm gonna add a half cup of flour and whisk it in. I need to switch my hands because I can do nothing with the opposite hand. <laughs> then I'm basically just gonna do this for like four or five minutes so it doesn't get too clumpy, but 
so it thickens up a little bit. Then I'm gonna pour in like half a jug or half a half gallon of whole milk slowly. You don't want it to burn. And then since I have a little bit of extra of heavy cream to use up, I'm just gonna add whatever I have left in here to make it even creamier. So I let it come to a boil and then I'm just gonna turn down the heat and let it thicken up a little bit. So now it has thickened up quite a bit. I'm gonna start adding my cheeses like just by like the handfuls. There's so much cheese over here, you guys. I'm gonna add some seasoning. So I'm gonna do salt and pepper um, generously with the salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add like a combination of paprika, ground mustard a lot of like recipes said like this is like the secret to like adding depth so i don't know and then i'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper in there as well my face is like red and hot because i'm sweating um but i just did a little bit of a taste test and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the best mac and cheese ever in life because the sauce tastes amazing like you don't even have to put it in the stove like or you don't even have to put it in the oven i think it would be amazing um so also, I decided I want to add a little bit of a topping and not too much, so I melted a few tablespoons of butter, um, added some panko breadcrumbs in here with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, so it's kind of like garlic breadcrumbs. And then, whatever little cheese nubs that I had left over, I just grated them up so they don't really go to waste, and I'm going to use that to sprinkle on the top with the breadcrumbs. You guys are going to see how good this looks. I mean... This isn't, I mean, this is my first time. I'm a mac and cheese virgin maker. <laughs> okay, so let me try to stir this in a little bit. This looks like mac and cheese. Let's use this little guy. And I did cook these a little bit shy of al dente so they don't get mushy because I do not like mushy noodles. I don't know, I'd rather it be crunchy <laughs> than be soggy. I really don't even think we need more cheese. But at this point, why not, you know? And I don't really like a ton of breadcrumbs on top, so I'm just doing like a little bit to add some texture, but I don't want like every piece to taste like crunchy breadcrumbs, you know? I used to be very against any kind of, you know, breadcrumbs, but now I'm not. So that is it. We're about to put this in the oven and it's about to be the best thing I ever had, I'm pretty sure. These two have been at my feet the whole time, licking my butt because it has cheese all over it. I don't know where Des is, but these two are always in the kitchen. Surprisingly, Des doesn't really, Rose, you have cheese on your back? <laughs> I don't even know, that's cheese sauce. Anyway, surprisingly, Des doesn't really ever come in the kitchen when I'm cooking, you would think. What do you think, Dave? Does it smell good? Do you like your haircut? You're very cute. You're very beautiful also. This is what I would like to call the November oven mitt lineup. When you're in between seasons, you don't know if you're a pumpkin, are you a snowflake, what will it be? Have you ever done something for the first time and you were just excelling at it? You just did amazing? Because that's what just happened here. I swear to God, I've never made this before. <laughs> is that like pretty? <laughs> so oh my God, it smells so good. I swear this is the best ever. By the way, I think this is for like, uh, probably a family of six, but we're doing it for two people only. So, my battery died. This is a good sign, there's nothing left. Did you like it? That was good. Good or great? Very good. Very good or great? Great. Great. I would say it was really great. Like really, really great. And I'm definitely gonna go get more. Oh no, my noodle just flew across the room. Mine too. <laughs> 
Honestly though, I probably would do it without even really baking it. I don't know why, but I just love just creamy stovetop mac and cheese. Plus you don't have to wait, but it's seriously so good. You have to try it. You have to try it. I mean, would you look at that creamy gooeyness. This is how I like my mac and cheese. I don't want it like a brick. Like you can have your brick, keep your brick at home. I want it to be creamy, oh yeah. Very low carb, very much dairy free, gluten free. Overall, very healthy for the bot. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>